Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This um, tutorial is about the desired dress which I'm wearing right now and I'm so happy and excited that I finally managed to finish this tutorial and uh, share with you how I made the desired dress. My name is Katerina and I'm the person behind by Katerina Design and if you didn't do it yet and you are new here please subscribe as I'm sharing as often as possible crochet and knitting tutorial plus I have the weekly journals video in which I'm sharing with you my projects what I was working on and also sharing some tips about crochet and about knitting so yeah now let's talk about the desired dress a bit uh, because we are about to start and I think it's important to know a few things about it. So this dress is worked top down which means that you will be able to adjust the length. So I work it as a maxi dress but you will be able to make a top, a tunic, a mid dress and also you will be um, able to adjust the sleeves. So if, it, if this sounds kind of interesting for you, please keep watching because we are about to start to work on the desired dress. Okay, so for this dress I use Hepie Katona, which is a fingering weight merchandise cotton yarn. The recommended needle is 3.5-3.5mm. I have here a 100 gram skeins, but this yarn comes in 50 grams as well, so you can find it either so. So to make this dress you can either work the motifs at the beginning or as many as you want and then uh, you can uh, join them or you can join them as you go and we will use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and now I will show you the motif pattern for size small which is the size that I'm working on right now on my uh, website you will find a written pattern for the motifs for other sizes as well so we will start with a matching ring, chain 2 and then 12 double crochet inside the ring. At, after finishing 12 du double crochet we will pull the end to close the ring and slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now round number two we will start with chain two and then in each stitch we will work two double crochet. Chain two at the beginning of the round does not count as a first double crochet. So we will work two double crochet in each stitch. We will close the round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. We will have 24 double crochet after this round. Then chain 2 and work 1 double crochet into the first stitch and then 2 double crochet in next. And we will repeat 1 double crochet into the next stitch and 2 double crochet in next and we will repeat until the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet then chain 2 and we will work 2 double crochet into the first stitch and then one double crochet into the next two stitches 
and we will repeat two double crochet in next and one double crochet into the next two stitches and we will repeat until the end of the round slip stitch with uh, uh, into the first double crochet and then chain one and one single crochet into the first stitch chain four skip the next stitch and wor work one single crochet into the next chain four one single crochet into the next and we will repeat until the end of the round. You need to have 24 loops at the end of this round. We will slip stitch into the first single crochet. Now we will start the next round from the first 14 space and we will go into the middle of it with slip stitches then single crochet chain four and one single crochet into the next four chain space chain four and repeat until the end of the round Okay, so this is the motif pattern. You can work more of them if you want. If not, you can join them as you go. For the first motif, we will need to work the joining round because we don't have with who to join or with another motif to join. So we will work the round entirely. So go with the slip stitches into the first uh, to start from the middle of the first four chain space one single crochet and then chain five and go with a single crochet into the next space chain five and repeat to the end of the round slip stitch into the first single crochet and we will cut the yarn now you can start working the next motif right now or you can work more at the beginning so we will work the next motif up to um, so we have one two three four five six so the first six rounds and then the seventh round will be the joining round so only this first motif it was so or other motifs that you don't have with who to join then you should work the seventh row as well now I'm hiding in the weaving in the end, but uh, it'll be nice to happen this way after finishing every motif, but of course that we tend to let them at the end. But yeah, I wanted to show you how to do that. okay so now i have my first motif as i said in the intro we are starting to build the top part of the of the dress so now i will attach three motifs one next to the other and i will explain as we go what i am doing so now to join the motifs we will start and uh, rejoin the yarn into one of the four chain spaces if you just finish working the first six uh, six rounds then you don't have to rejoin it because you simply continue working from where your yarn is now single crochet then chain two get the other motif turn it on the wrong side facing the wrong side and work one single crochet into one of the four chain spaces now it doesn't matter which one it is but for other motifs it will 
then chain 2 and go into the space, the next space of the current motif you are working on and work a single crochet. Chain 2, go into the next chain space and work a single crochet and we will join for four spaces every motif has six segments of four spaces and every time we will do the join into one of the segment so you might have the middle motifs into the dress joined in all six um, six segments but for now we will have only one so four spaces because we have 24 on the circumference then we will have uh, divided by six we will end up with four so no matter what pattern you are using for the circle motifs is important to have a multiple of six or six equal segments now that we finished joining we will continue working the final round to continue and finish the motif and we will chain five and go into the next space with a single crochet and continue to the end of the round. Okay, now we will finish the round with chain 5 and slip stitch into the first single crochet and we can cut the yarn. Now we will join the third motif here and this time we will need to count the spaces because we want to join them symmetrically and um, to look nice. So to do so we need to have eight or two segments, eight four chain spaces on the top. And then we will join from the next one, from the ninth. So place a stitch marker if it's easier for you into the four chain space that you need to start the join with. I prefer to start every time st when I'm joining to start with a join because then it's easier to just continue and finish the round. So again I need to make a single crochet in one of the four chain spaces of the motif that I'm working on right now, then chain two and again I'm counting to have eight four spaces on the top and then going into the next one and start to make the join for one segment which will be four chain spaces. So I did one single crochet, then chain two, going into the next four chain space of my current motif, single crochet, chain two, going into the next space of the other motif, single crochet, chain two, and so on. Until we will finish joining on four, four chain spaces. After finishing the join, we will just continue and finish the round. Okay, now this three motif join here, we will use this as a reference for our dress. So this has to measure half of your bust circumference. So I have here 43, my bust measures 
86 so I'm dividing that circumference by 2 and this is what my three motifs connected joined together needs to have this is that uh, your reference to use if you want to use different yarn if you have different gauge uh, you can play with the patterns of the motifs because we have four different patterns motifs for uh, for each size from size uh, S medium large and uh, extra large and if you are using different yarn you may adjust the, the motif size but when you join three motifs you need to have half your your boss circumference um, now we were preparing the motifs for the row number two we are joining the rounds for the front panel right now and this is how the second row will look like so now we have this three as I said we need to connect uh, or we have around six segments of four chain spaces so every time I'm joining I need to keep the same length of the segment with four spaces not more not less because this will mean that maybe for another motif I will have less or more uh, chain spaces and it I is not right so every time when joining I'm joining with four spaces you'll see in the rhythm pattern that for other sizes like uh, large or extra large will be five but we will keep the same length of this segment so now let's join this um, the side motif over here so I'm counting to start from the eighth counting from the join underneath and I will join only into four it's better to work for every round or row of connecting circles to just uh, work them before even if you're not working more of them but at least you have a few for a round because this will help you to see where or how the segment the segments are joined or how the circles are connected together and it will give you a better idea on on how you need to join them so let's just see I will join this only with four it will be on the side a bit because half of the circle it will be on the back panel as well so now I uh, finished the round and I will go to my next motif I will place it here and now I can see that I need to join this into three places so first the previous motif then the one on the top right and one on the top left so now let's just start and connect this one so I'm counting on the side of the motif one two three four starting with the fourth and now it's easier you don't need to count because just join because when it's finished it's finished you mean it means that you already connected with the full segment but of course it's better to double check and make sure that you have four uh, spaces as join okay now I will go with the top right and I'm going into the loop that is not connected with anything and continue joining
Now after I will finish with this motif I need to go and connect with the other one. Also for four spaces. And after finishing and joining with this uh, top motif into four spaces, then we can continue and finish the round of this motif. And when you finish the round, I don't remember if I told you, but you need to go with five chains, one single crochet in next. Okay, let's go with the next one. This one should be again in uh, three segments connected and then the other one will be only in two. This will be half half, half on the front, half on the back. So we will connect this only in two. Okay, so now the first two rows of the front panel are done. I'm measuring again and this is okay. So it's again 43 centimeter. This might expand a bit after blocking, but usually because of the heaviness of the dress, it will go in length, it will drape, it will uh, not be or expand in width. So now what I'm doing next, is to place the shoulders. Again, the construction of the dress is like I uh, was thinking that is logical and easier for me to see the entire piece together. But of course, if you find a different way to put these motifs together, it's up to you. So now I'm placing these motifs. Here's what well, um, the sleeve will be. This is how I pictured this, uh, this top part. So now for the shoulders, I will need to place them a bit in angle. That's why on the written pattern, you'll see that it's not looking quite okay when I'm trying to draw flat the motifs because these shoulders are a bit in an angle. So when I'm counting now the um, the spaces or where I need to join it's I place it and I see that it's a bit in diagonal so I will need to let into the top part of this motif the first one that I have over here that I need to um, have four spaces and then starting the join So now I'm joining into the four motif. I counted at the armpit where it should be the sleeve. I counted four and then I started from the next one to make the join. And after finishing the segment, I will just continue and finish the round. And we will do the same with the other shoulder into the other side. Like this. So you always need to see the six segments of one motif and see how you need to join and where you need to join. 
Okay, so now this is how is looking the front panel so far. It's starting to take shape little by little and now if we're flipping our work we can see exactly how the back should um, should be fill. So we have five motifs for the back now that we need to place them um, right on top of the ones that are already on the um, on the front panel. So if you are starting with this one over here that is under the shoulder, we need to pay attention that the segment into the right, into the left on the edge, needs to remain open. So make sure that you're not connecting that that segment because there is where the sleeve should uh, should be connected. Let me show you. So here will be the sleeve motif that will be connected with that side. So we will need to skip that segment when we are doing our joining. So let's uh, do it together because it's a bit uh, tricky with this one or not that tricky but maybe it will be more helpful if you see how I'm doing it. So I will start again with one of the, the chain spaces. We will do a single crochet. And then we need to count for the shoulder motif to make sure that it's symmetrical and it will look nice. We need to count on the next side to have eight motif and start with the ninth. Okay, again you can use a stitch marker to place them into the first chain space. You need to have 8 on the one side, 8 on one side and remain with 4 that need to be connected with the motifs, with the motif from the front panel. So we will connect the four spaces. Then for the next four spaces we will need to continue and work five chain stitches, one single crochet four times that, so to make sure that we will have four loops. So this side over here needs to remain open so that's why I'm not connecting it with the front panel motif. So chain five, one single crochet four times. One, two, three. And when I need to connect, when I start the fifth, I will chain two and go into this side motif over here and start connect the two motifs together. And again we will do four spaces. And after having the four 
spaces and we join with this side motif here we will continue to finish this circle okay now we will continue and we will attach the same on the other side and then with the other three motifs remained over here and uh, now that we finished this is how it's looking so far and we have kind of crop top right now and what we will be doing now is to make the back panel higher on the neck on the top part because it's always more comfortable to if we have the back even higher and also this will help to make the neckline even smaller because we don't need too much width on it so this is what we will be doing right now to connect these two motifs only on the front panel on the top and we will connect it with the shoulder and with the um, motif underneath so in three segments okay so I single crochet chain two I'm counting four and start joining Okay, now that I finish one side, I will continue with the other two segments and then finishing the circle and the, the, the round. Okay, I connected um, uh, two motifs at the back. So now this is how my leg neckline is looking. We will uh, make it to look even more better but now let's just focus on the sleeves because this is the next step that we need to do now you can uh, play with the sleeves you can make short sleeve mid sleeves longer sleeves as uh, as you wish this is how they will be placed the the motif we will have two motifs per sleeve circumference and for the last two motifs I decided to increase the circle so that the sleeve will get a bit flared in the end I tried different methods and this one uh, was the best so what I did with the last motif I just worked the final round as the um, um, last round of the motif with the five chains loops and then I uh, I will use a extra round with seven stitches to make the join this will add a bit of width and in this way I will have a more flared look of the sleeves and of course you can go with as many motifs as you want in the length depending on how long you wish your sleeve to be no worries if you somehow placed the motif for the sleeves and the sleeves is too short but if you're adding one more motif it will be too long then it's fine because on the last part when we are adjusting the edges then you can work this mesh stitch pattern for a few rounds if you need to add a bit of extra length so la now let's just um, attach the first motif of the sleeve I don't really yeah I think it's on the front panel here so I'm going and joining with the front panel remember the segment that 
I said that we need to leave it open because we need to attach the sleeve that is the first segment that we will join right now And then we will continue with the shoulder segment and join there. And then after finishing the joining with the shoulder, we will continue to finish the round of this motif. Okay, so now if we turn on the back side, we see how we need to place the motif for the back side. This time we will need to connect with the motif on the front as well because we need to connect the, uh, the sleeves uh, motif in the round. So we will start with joining with the motif on the front and then with the shoulder, then with the back and then again with the other motif of the sleeve. So this will be basically a joining into four segments, but it is in the same way. Okay, now with the um, shoulder segment. Okay, now we will connect with the, uh, with the side motif of the back panel and then we need to connect it as well with the other motif of the sleeve that is on the, on the front. Okay, so now we need to connect with the uh, with the motif on the front.
and after finishing this segment we just continue and uh, finish this uh, round okay so now we have a small portion of the sleeve and we will continue to add um, two more motifs and on the third one because I told you that we will make them a bit bigger I will show you right away how we are working the third row of the sleeve okay so I finish and connected the other two and that now I will place a bigger size um, motif so I just made the last round the joining round as an individual round and now I will use an extra round to connect this motif with the other part of the sleeve and it's important if you choose to increase uh, this to keep the same number of uh, loops or chain panel on the segment so that's why I just increased the number of stitches for the joining round to keep and have also four uh, spaces to join so my segment is still for four spaces only that I worked an extra round on the um, on the motif and now I will increase the number of stitches for joining so now I'm I'm chaining three instead of two and I will go and count four four this is the four and single crochet and then I will chain three again and go with a single crochet into the next space of my uh, current motif that I want to attach and chain three and repeat I will have only two segments to, se to connect on this, uh, this motif and then to finish the round I will just chain seven single crochet chain seven single crochet so instead of five I will chain seven okay so this will expand the loops and also will expand the width of the sleeves on the uh, at, at the end on the bottom okay so this is how it's looking this motif so far now I will have to connect the other one and it will be the same connected in four segments and with the same pattern with three chains okay so this is uh, done with the sleeve now a uh, thing that you will notice is that at the armpit is quite a big hole created over here after joining and I will show you how to fill that and you can also fill the small gaps that are forming after joining so the first thing to do is to count the spaces that we have and after know the number of the spaces that we have there we will start with a magic ring and work the same number of double crochet as the spaces that we have on that edge of the hole so I will have 10 and depending on how big the hole is because on the other uh, holes that you have and that they are not that big you can start with single crochet into the magic ring to make that starting circle smaller so now I will work 10 double crochet then pull the yarn join into a circle with a slip stitch into the first double crochet now I will chain three if it's not a big hole you can chain only two and go into the first space that I have and work a single crochet 
and now chain 3 again and go into the next stitch of your small circle and slip stitch and repeat until you finish the entire circumference of the hole And this will create a small pattern at the armpit and it will fill that hole, inner aesthetic hole that uh, it's uh, formed after joining the motifs. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. It's creating kind of a flower or a star and this is at the end. And this is how you can fill these gaps. And now let's see what we need to do next. Of course, besides the fact that I will have to uh, attach the second sleeve and then we will see what we will need to work next. For the top length, I will just, you can simply add one more round of circles. You will place them in the round so far, so from now on, so you will have six motif per round. And if you want to go farther from the waist, then go to work a dress or a tunic or a maxi length skirt or mid length skirt. Starting with the waist, I just increase the pattern of the motif the same as I did with the last two motifs of the sleeve. So in the same way, because this will add a bit of width and this will add an expanded dress around the shoulders and uh, the preeminence parts of our body. In case you need more width than that, than just a round, just changing the, the joining round, then you can repeat that uh, seven, make one more round with uh, seven chain, uh, one single crochet and then repeat the same round as joining. Okay, I <coughs> attached the sleeves, I added uh, one more round to the length and uh, now I want to show you the neckline and what we need to do for and shaping the neckline. So first we will need to fill those gaps between the two motifs, those uh, veils, I don't know how to call them. And uh, I know it, I don't know if it's the best uh, pattern of way that I found to do it. Maybe you can find another one. I just uh, keep on changing on the on the ideas, and this was the best one that I could find. So let's just see how I did that. So first, I'm looking at these two spaces over here where I need to start the join. And I'm rejoining yarn into one uh, space at the right. And I will work a single crochet here. And then I will chain five. And go into the next space and single crochet. Now somehow I need to go and start from the next loop but I don't want to chain 5 so I will chain 2 and then go with a single crochet into the next space and now we need to turn our work and I will chain 5 Go with a single crochet into the next space and then chain five 
and go with a single crochet into the next space and now I will chain again two and go into the next space and turn the work again for the last time and we will chain five go into the next space with a single crochet chain five and let's see what we have here chain five and go into that loop and I think this is it so only three rows to fill this spaces in between two motifs and now I will go with chain two because I want to end up into this single crochet over here so I will chain two and slip stitch into that single crochet and cut the yarn and we will repeat with all the the gaps that we have in between two um, two motif to make this edge straight you can also do in between the shoulders over here but because it's taking the angle I don't think is quite of necessarily but if you want to make the um, um, the neckline even smaller because you need that or because you're working a bigger size so the circles are bigger and maybe you need to uh, decrease the neckline a bit more you can go on the shoulders as well so this is how it's looking after I filled all the spaces in the way that I just showed you before it will be the same on the sleeves and the same on the bottom length we will work the same only that on the sleeves and bottom if you're working the dress length then you will have instead of five chains you will have seven because this is how the motifs are ending and it's the joining round so we are looking at a joining round and um, I think I will go and um, work one or two rounds on the shoulders here as well because I want to fill the gaps here as well so I will connect a few spaces here And I will finish this after two rounds. I don't add two rows, I won't add more. okay now it's looking uh, a bit better and uh, we can start now to work on our edge if at this stage you still need to um, 
still need to decrease on your neckline you can do it working this mesh stitch with less, cha less chains in between the single crochet can help you to decrease a bit the circumference of the neckline so you can start little by little so not starting right away with uh, I don't know one single crochet one chain one single crochet but you can start for example as I'm starting here with one single crochet and then chain three and then go with another round and maybe uh, chain two in between the single crochet or if you don't need uh, to be that many stitches uh, decrease maybe you can alternate with uh, chain two between single crochet and chain three so you will adjust this uh, adjust this as needed I will go with the entire round with chain three one single crochet on those uh, um, where we when we where we fill those gaps you could see at some point that they are not loops over loops over loops so somewhere it should be and look weird but you should uh, chain three and try to make it as symmetrical as possible and don't worry that you will mess up something because you won't in the end at the end of this row you just need to have chain three single crochet all around okay so i finished this uh, this round as i said you can now continue and add uh, in the same pattern or even try to decrease even more uh, if you need it so now I will finish this row and I will start to work single crochet rows for my edging and I will do that all around and because I do want to decrease a bit I want I will work only into the chain spaces so I will work three single crochet stitches into each three chain space skipping the single crochet stitch but again if you want to decrease more you can do that okay so you can skip a few uh, and work uh, one more round for example and do some decreases or you can work the single crochet round and do after the first single crochet you can do some um, some decreases so everything can be adjusted on this now I will work the round in single crochet as I said three single crochet in each three chain space but I will skip the single crochet and you can do that under the chain or like this or if you want to uh, look more polished more neat then you should work the stitches right into the chains and we will continue with three single crochet in each three chain space this is the first round I will slip stitch into the first single crochet And I think I will continue with two more rounds just in single crochet. My neckline is uh, wide enough. I don't need to do any other decreases, but again, you can do it. If you feel like it's too wide, you can still make some decreases around these two next rounds that we will work until you have the desired. Uh, width or circumference of your neckline so now I will continue and work the two more rows in single crochet and then we will add one more row in um, um, 
nicer stitch pattern to just uh, make this edge to look beautiful okay so I worked two more rounds and now I chose to work the final round in twisted single crochet but you can use picosage or other stitches that might be used for these types of edging this is the twisted single crochet which will give you a similar look with the crab stitch okay we finished everything and this is the um, end of the dress at the bottom of the dress and I want to show you on uh, the sleeve because I told you that I did it a bit different this time but you can do the um, filling the gaps in the same manner as we did at the neckline the only difference is that we will have seven chain stitches instead of five because we have bigger um, uh, bigger circle so the last round the joining round was with seven stitches and somehow we want to keep the same the same pattern you'll see that I started a bit uh, differently this time uh, the, f the filling those rows that I use but it's not changing too much so you can um, do it whatever find you will find it easier even if you can do it in a different way if you decide that oh this might be a, an idea that is working better than uh, than Katerina's I will be perfectly fine with it as long as you keep on making the straight as edge, as a, uh, the edge as straight as possible so now what I did differently is that I started with one uh, space at the right and then I chain three and go into the next space and now I will chain five uh, I will chain seven sorry and go into the next space chain three and go into the next with a single crochet and now I will turn or you can turn after chaining seven and then go with a single crochet into the next space and then chain seven And I will go this time because I started with uh, from the other side this is the same but only that and I'll go with the slip stitches into the first single crochet that I did and then chain uh, three and go into the next space I think I chain five by mistake but you should chain three <laughs> And now I will go into the next space so chain seven yeah somehow I figure it out that I chain more or I forgot about this small piece over here okay so now chain three and go into the next space and then turn chain seven and go into the next space chain again seven and go into the next space and let's see maybe the last loop chain seven go into the next space and now chain seven 
and slip stitch into that next single crochet and now if you're at the final gap that you filled you can start continuing and work few more rounds in the mesh stitch with the seven chain stitches right now if you need to add a bit of more length so I will go and I will work only one more round but of course that you can work more if you decide that you will need to add a bit more length so I will go into the middle of this, uh, this space and start my round from there single crochet chain 7 and go into the next space with a single crochet again when you're passing those uh, fillings you'll see that somehow is not at every loop but try to keep a symmetry when going with a single crochet and it will be perfect okay so you don't need to um, be frustrated that it's not kind of working or something is looking wrong because it's not it's difficult to find a perfect 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 uh, pattern for these things so try don't um, overthinking on that we don't we just need some straight edges and this is it okay so now I will continue and finish this uh, seven loop seven chain loops um, round again if you need to add more length you can go and work a bit more uh, a few more rounds and now we will start to straighten the edge okay so I'm going again into the middle of the first space single crochet and now I will chain four to make this edge straight you can try with chain three as well because this will be the kind of the pattern that I wanted to use at the beginning but I was uh, noticing that with chain three it's kind of too tight so then I change with uh, chain four or you can alternate with chain three chain four and uh, get that edge as straight as possible so I will chain four and single crochet into the next space to the end of the round slip stitch into the first single crochet chain one and now we will single crochet into each stitch so we will work single crochet into the single crochet stitches and in each four chain space we will work for single crochet This is how it's looking after the first uh, round. Now we can repeat and work one single crochet into each stitch depending on how thick we want this edge to be. 
I will work one more round and then uh, the last round in twister single crochet same as I did on the neckline. On the neckline I think I work three rounds in a single crochet and with the sleeves I think I skipped one round in single crochet but yeah, anyways you can work as many rounds as you wish. Okay, and now this is uh, how it's looking so far. I will add the twisted single crochet around to finish the sleeve. And again, in the same way as we uh, did with the sleeves, we, we'll do, we will do with the bottom of the dress. The only difference is that we will have more gaps to fill in and of course uh, a number of stitches in a round will be more, but it will be the same thing. And after finishing with this edging, of course, that the um, thing that we need to do is to not forget to weave in all the ends and uh, then wash dress the, um, the dress and it's done. It's a pretty long tutorial, but we got to the end finally. I hope that you will enjoy making this dress. It's a lot of work, but believe me that it's so, so rewarding. So I hope you will do it and hope you will make it. Don't forget to tag me in uh, social media. If you post any photos, I will be more, more, more than grateful and excited to see your work. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.